What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today we actually have a, a bit of a collab. Uh, we have Fufu2 here if you want to say hi. Hello everybody, nice to be on Moxibusid's channel. Yeah, we did a collab like once, like a year ago I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah. we attempted a collab like two years prior to that. <laughs> uh, but it's it's difficult with like both of us like have jobs and are youtubers and there's like a huge time zone gap so uh this is one of those rare times where the stars aligned even if it took a couple of weeks <laughs> yeah but yeah. yeah fu and i both uh built around veluza and we had different takes on how how to use veluza uh but this is my veluza team we're gonna break it down for you and we're gonna use it on the ladder uh, and just go through it. So obviously, you know, Foo's link's going to be down in the description uh, if you want to subscribe to him, which I, you definitely want to. He makes some pretty phenomenal content. Uh, and you'll also be able to check out the Veluza video on his channel once that comes out because we do have two completely different teams. But yeah, uh, let's let's go ahead and get into it. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. And let's break down this team. Rental code's on screen, but let's get into the, uh, the nitty gritty, right? So, uh, I guess I'll cover the Rabska and we'll just, like, alternate. Sure. Alright, so Rabska is a Pokemon with access to the move Revival Blessing. Now, Revival Blessing is a really insane move that we haven't had anything similar to in previous uh, generations. And this move has one use, unless you use, like, a Lepiberry because then it restores all the PP. But Revival Blessing will bring back a Pokemon to 50% HP. It's basically like using the item Revive in the middle of a match. Uh, now, the only downside is that very low PP and the fact that it's only on two Pokemon, being Palma, which is actually pretty good, and Rabsko, which is sort of another Pokemon that we're trying to highlight in this video. Uh, but being a, a bug and psychic type is kind of bad for it, so having that dark Terra typing is going to help it out quite a bit, uh, making it immune to Prankster Taunt from Murkrow and also helping it resist things like Ghost and Dark type moves. Also, it's actually not Calm, it is Sassy, because we need it to be slow. Uh, but yeah, we're just running Trick Room, Protect, Revival Blessing, Bug Buzz, and Leopard Berry to get a second Revival Blessing off with 244 HP, 212 Defense, and 52 Special Defense. Honestly, we made this so long ago that I forgot what it lives, but it definitely lives a lot of things. Yeah, it lives a ton. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And then, so the the, the, the idea for this Rabska team with the Revival Blessing was that we just wanted to use Final Gambit a lot and then revive the Pokemon again. So we're using a very standard, I'd say very standard uh, Choice Scarf Annihilate, like it's got max HP. So Final Gambit will hopefully just delete one of the opponents and then Rabska at some point can click Revival Blessing and then bring it back. So it's not really a final Gambit if you look at it that way. We can definitely Gambit again or we could do something else. So that's kind of the idea, just deleting Pokemon with final Gambit and then bringing bringing your Pokemon back so that you don't have, it's not one for one, it's like one for one and a half, which is a better deal. Yeah. So yeah. And and so yeah, there's not much else to say about the Annihilate. I guess we've got the Fire for, fire Terror for avoiding burns, but we probably won't be Terror. Yeah, and obviously Final Gambit in the Trick Room is a true combo, we know this. Uh, it's it's yeah. very fun. Uh, speaking of Final Gambit, guess what our Veluza's doing? So is a really interesting Pokemon in the fact that it's awful. Uh, <laughs> but we did find one use for it. 90 HP Final Gambit isn't actually that bad. 90 HP is a lot higher than people expect it to be. So by maxing out the HP, maxing out the attack, giving it 4 defense, sharpness, and 0 speed with an Iron Ball, we actually come pretty close to underspeeding a Moongus. So 67 divided by 2 is going to be 33 rounded down uh, because Pokemon rounds down the numbers, uh, where Amoongus is 31. So if we're facing non-zero speed Amoongus, this will actually be able to outspeed it. Um, but the main deal is it's a very slow, very high HP final gambit Pokemon, meaning that once the Annihilate goes down and the Trick Room goes up, next turn we bring in the Veluza and we either final gambit a second Pokemon and then Revival Blessing immediately to get it back, or uh, we just go on the offense, because actually uh, Sharpness gives a 50% boost to all of these cutting moves, and, you know, having Stab on Aqua Cutter and Psycho Cut is just super, super good. These moves become 105 base power before Stab, and obviously Terra Water is like a very nice Terra typing to have for this guy. 
Yeah, so so those guys do a ton of damage and final gambit. And even when they're brought back, they can final gambit again for a ton of damage. But yeah. then we need to have some Pokemon that can actually come in and finish stuff off without killing themselves. So King Gambit's one of those guys. Just a bulky assault vest King Gambit with Kowtow Cleave and Sucker Punch um, that benefit if you want to Terra Dark. And then we also have Guillotine, which has a, a good matchup into Dondozo. If we don't have anything for it, then Guillotine can actually Oko it. It's kind of a last, last ditch attempt, but it's there. And Iron Head is very good for, especially into things like Sylveon, which can cause a few problems in Trick Room because it's generally quite a slow Pokemon, but uh, we can deal with that too. Um, yeah. And it's also Supreme Overlord, so that's something that's really cool with all these Pokemon that are final gambiting. You get additional boosts when you go for Supreme Overlord. Most King Gambit that you see are actually defiant, um, but this actually gets additional boosts, and I think it gets additional boosts with the Revival Blessing, right? Yeah, so that's not confirmed. I haven't tested it in-game, but we're so deep into Sword and Shield that I'm actually, or not Sword and Shield, in, we're very deep into Sword and Shield, <laughs> into yeah. Scarlet and Violet, that I'm fairly certain Showdown has it correct that the way that Supreme Overlord works is it doesn't check for how many Pokemon are currently KO'd, but it checks for how many Pokemon have been KO'd or how many KOs have been taken on your team. So the way that it worked on Showdown at the very least was um, if you were to Final Gambit and then Revival Blessing back that Pokemon, even though it's like alive, you would still get the 1.1 uh, the times multiplier from Supreme Overlord. Yeah, so I, I think that's how it works. Yeah, I think that's how it works. And and uh, yeah, it's similar with Last Respects as well, where you can get like, it's not actually the number of Pokemon that are dead. It's the number of Pokemon that have been KO'd. So yeah. uh, you, if you bring them back and KO them again, you get more boosts. So that's yeah. a really, really cool synergy with King Gambit. Honestly. And let's say that you get the best case situation where you ha actually have a 1.4 times multiplier. I believe Kowtow Cleave becomes like, 117 base power something like that it's like a really strong move uh and your sucker punch like gets like to 100 base power ish it's it's a really cool like ability to have obviously guillotine doesn't care because it's just like a mm -hmm. ko button uh but wow i just realized how many ko buttons we have on this team now that i threw guillotine oh, yeah. on there <laughs> yeah uh, next Pokemon that we have is Amoongus. Now, this is just like a bulky Amoongus. Honestly, like we, we built this set hap like haphazardly. It is just like a Rocky Helmet Amoongus. Amoongus is the sort of Pokemon where you can throw random EVs onto it, and as long as you have almost max HP, it's going to do just fine. So just protect Rage Powder, Spore Clear, Smog, and Rocky Helmet to Rage Powder away like mouse hold attacks. It's, it's very basic, and it's Terra Water to uh, help versus Torkoal. Yeah, which. And, and and then we have the Torkoal, which is just a great Trick Room attacker, so we can have that here as well. So it, there's not much to really say about that one. It's Terra Fire, Charcoal boosted, Sun boosted eruptions that will do tons of damage. And it gets easy switchings as well with the final Gambit, so all pretty cool. Yeah, he goes crazy under Trick Room. He get KOs. Very awesome Pokemon. Let's just grab some battles. Now, now Fu, Sam... My friend, my colleague, mm -hmm. uh, my my contemporary. I have not reached Master Ball this season. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, because it just reset like a day ago, right? Yeah, I only got that yesterday, I think. So. Yeah, so uh, we're basically just getting in there with like, you know what? Oh, wait, these are some... Ooh, treasure. Yeah, ooh. ooh, ooh. <laughs> 100,000 League Points is actually nothing to scoff at. We didn't get anything really similar to that previously. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're, we're starting an ability team. capsule, not patch. That sucks. Yeah. By the way, this team on the rental is named uh, Rip Dozo. That is not the name of the team. That's a bug in Scarlet and Violet. Uh, speaking of bugs, it thinks that it's season three. Oh, what? Yeah, That's it's labeled crazy. if if you go to like the uh, the ranked battles screen, like before we get to this, mm -hmm. and you just hover over the the ranked battles, it says season three is underway. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to get some good battles with this. Ooh, yeah. okay. Win or lose, this is still a funny team that you guys want to use. Yeah. So, this is a, a relatively awkward trick room matchup, uh, like, matchup potentially with the um, Ndidi and Armor Rouge. And everything we can go that KOs Rebska. 
Yeah, exactly. We could go on our like Rabska, um, but the issue is if they follow me and then go for an armor cannon with the uh, armor rouge, that could be pretty bad. Or even like um, its own trick room could be kind of bad. I mean, if they set up trick room, then we're kind of okay. Yeah. Because I'm we actually, want trick room. I'm actually tempted to go for a Moongus in Rabska. Mm hmm. Because um, if they end up leading off with like Mousehold and uh, Murkrow or anything like that, uh, it leaves Muscled us open. like yeah, it leaves us wide open. Yeah, yeah, I think that that's reasonable. Um, Torkoal is like decent in Veluza. Yeah, yeah, we can also, try that. King Gambit might not be bad. Oh. I I'm actually leaning more towards King Gambit than Veluza to be honest, but it's a Veluza yeah. video. I, yeah, well, I like. I like King Gambit, um, I, and I think Torkoal as well because actually a lot of those Pokemon have kind of high HP stats. So yeah, like look, if we don't use Veluza in the first match, it's whatever. It's still a Veluza team. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a very serious team that we're going against. Since we're in Great Ball at the moment, maybe the next match we'll be able to bring whatever we want. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh. Absolutely annihilate this dude, hopefully. We're hoping I hope. for mouse hold. Mouse hold. Oh no. That's um, a trick. That's not the uh. end of the world. Because we can tear a water here and Or we could just tear a dark. Yeah. Because uh, I think that they don't want a trick room now. Yeah. We definitely want a trick room and a rage powder. It's just which one we terror. Because yeah. I think we do need to terror one of them. I'm feeling Rabska. I think it's just safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Rabska is very specially defensive, so... Yeah. yeah, and I'm gonna go for the Spore. It's probably gonna fail, but it's better to go for the Spore on Indeedee, I think. Okay, yeah. We can do that. I think... Do you know what item Indeedee is? On uh, screen? Psychic Seed. Oh, did it just activate? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like, heard it. I wasn't paying attention either, but I heard <laughs> the Psychic Seed go off. That's okay. my thing. I need to pay more attention on Indeedee leads. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Alright, so this should okay. let us tank an armor cannon because we're like super special defensive. Yeah, as long as they don't double, but follow yeah, me. I assume to follow me. Alright. And. Spanning force. Spanning oh, force. dude, he's... actually, if he's not life orb, Amoongus has a shot. Nope. Alright, that's oh, fine. No. Um. That's yeah. okay. I mean, that's. Yeah, I think we're fine, actually. Because I think our, our play, funny enough, you're going to think I'm crazy. Yeah. You're going to think I'm crazy here. <laughs> I think we get in King Gambit. <laughs> okay. And yeah. um, we can't Revival Blessing yet, obviously. But. We, we could Revival Blessing. We can Revival Blessing Amoongus. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll Revival Blessing Amoongus. I was like, maybe we just want to, like, double attack in DD to get some chip on the uh, armorage, but actually, yeah, Revival Blessing seems really good to get our Amoongus back. Yeah, um, we're not going to KO it with Rabska, so yeah. I think the Kowtow could probably, yeah, uh, uh, into Armorage. And we're at 1.1 really times, up. so what is it? That's 85 plus 8, basically. That's like a 93-ish power move. Oh, but I, I feel like Supreme Overlord only activates when you switch in. So I think if more Pokemon faint, uh, Supreme Overlord doesn't get stronger. Unless we switch out. Yeah. So, I mean, but we switched in after the Amoongus went down, so we do still have that boost. We have a 1.1. 1. 1, yeah, 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah. All right. So, we're probably going to lose okay. our guy, but we do get rid of Indeedee. And honestly, we can just Revival Blessing again. <laughs> and yeah. get him back. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it does count the, the King Gambit going down itself. That's crazy. It's yeah. Supreme Overlording himself. That's crazy. And he's getting, uh, what is it? Like, that's his first special defense drop. He's Life Orb. He's going to be in range of Bug Buzz soon. Yeah. So we bring in, back in Amoongus and Revival Blessing again, do you think? Yeah, because we want to put the uh, we want to put the Armor Rouge to sleep. Uh, because it's a lot harder to deal with Armor Rouge with Torkoal. So we want to make sure that like that guy goes down like sooner rather than later. Yeah. Because Torkoal endgame looks really nice. Yeah, it does. Hydreigon. Oh, wait, that's Bug Buzz food. Dude, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Do you want a Revival Blessing first, though? Just to get more... Yeah, actually, yeah. Um, I'm somewhat tempted to sleep the... Hydreigon. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think so, because I think that the Armor Rouge will probably knock out your Amoongus, which is fine. And then we get to bring in... And if, you, if they go for Armor Cannon again, they might, they might not, but if they do, um, they're putting themselves in range of Torkoal. They might go for Expanding Force, so that would be awful. Yeah, I'm also kind of scared that they're going to protect the Hydra Gun here because it's under Trick Room. Yeah, they could do. I'm a coward. I'm, a co I'm sorry, Fu. I'm a coward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is, is probably Terra Grass, grass? Armor Rouge. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're saved. Okay. The day is saved. Right. It's Terra Steel. Yo, yo, it's happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> Torkoal okay. again. Torkoal is, is looking really good. Especially if they protect here. All right, no protect, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This is funny because that I feel that steel was for like protecting against Ravska, and we're not even attacking with Ravska. Yeah, <laughs> Ravska's like, just so scary. He's but. just chilling, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so this is hypothetically now. Okay, actually, that's so good for us. Yeah, because Torkoal comes in really easily. Now. Yeah. We're almost at the end of Trick Room, though, but if we can get a double KO, I don't know if we will. I'm somewhat tempted um, to double the armor rouge here. I don't know if it's worth it, though. Yeah, I, no, I would I would do that, because I think that Hydreigon's likely to protect this time. Well, the thing is, they don't always run protect. Sometimes they run Tailwind, and sometimes yes. they just run, like, full attacking sets. Or it could be a Focus yeah. Energy Hydreigon, too. So, you know what? It's, it's in range of two bug buzzes. I think we just go for it. Uh, eruption, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's just try it. We're also in Great Ball, so like making predictions isn't always the safest thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's so annoying <laughs> when the opponent just like makes a completely unpredictable play. Like, I had one. I, I, just a few spoilers here, but I, I'm bringing Ally Switch back, and someone drain punched into my Serral Edge slot, and I'm like, what? How could I predict that? So I Ally Switch, and then they hit my switch pokemon with a drain punch i'm like why were you at aiming a drain punch into my server ledge the it world no may sense. never know no and the, and the only yes! pokemon that they, they oh okay dude this, okay, is, so this is so good this is so good because what hydragon's gone unless it's like the rare focus sash hydragon found only in the wild um and i mean this is this is neutral bug buzz at minus one special defense like it's probably gonna knock it in range where it only gets one more attack Hopefully, we'll see. Yeah, like two more attacks. Uh, it, it, it did good damage. All right. Do we have At least one more they can't. I it might be expiring now. Oh no. Okay, we yeah we we got one more turn. So, dude, nice bug buzz food. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah, the freest really turn of my life. I've never been happier. <laughs> so the Supreme Overlord, I guess, didn't come into play too much. Oh, they do have Protect. Um, honestly, I don't mind because Psychic Terrain will expire soon. Yeah. And then so Sucker they, Punch is, like, fine. They kind of have to, to focus down the Rabska unless we... Otherwise, we'll get another Trick Room. Yeah. So, honestly, I'm just going to, like, Earth Power the, uh... Yeah, because Psychic Terrain runs out at the same time as Trick Room. So now yeah. the Expanding Force isn't KOing Torkoal. So we actually always just like go for Trick Room plus uh, Earth Power and we win. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see. There's no shot unless it's the rare, uh, sheer cold Meowscarada. Unless it's only like... in the wild. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they could do here. Maybe like Armor Cannon and then... No, they could, they, I, I don't see... Unless their Expanding Force does KO Torkoal. Yeah, they're also not choice banded, so there's no shot that they can KO Torkoal. See, I think this will KO. Nah. Oh, Rapska, Rapska's crazy, oh, okay. dude. Must be sad. Rapska's must an be sad. insane Pokemon. He has to crit. He did not crit. Goodbye, sir. Dude, Rapska's gonna get the last KO. Rapska was very strong. I really didn't think it would do so little. Yeah. Uh, Are we gonna label yeah. this a Rapska Veluza team? Or Well, this one is definitely Rapska Veluza. I, built, I tried to build around Belooza, but it didn't really work out. So I ended up doing a Revival Blessing Team too. Okay, so so, it, so this is a Rabska collab then? Yeah, this is a Rabska collab. Yeah. Okay, we're good. All right, um, I'm actually going to Earth Power for swag reasons. Do it. Okay, we're good. Okay. <laughs> All right, you got we got time for like one more. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. All right.
this is so the, honestly it's going pretty good yeah that that worked pretty well that was quite nice um i i feel that we i, I thought that that would be the trickier matchup though because if they led with mouse soul then you know we bought the rocky helmet amunga so we'd have had a freer start to that match so that worked out quite well Rapture's yeah. just so bulky it's crazy yeah i honestly i like that we did like iterations of this team because originally our rapska like I forget what our terror type was, but like we we tested it and we like ran into mm -hmm. issues and like it worked out. Like because after a while we like got it working, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like the terror dark's definitely coming in handy a lot. In this one, we'll definitely try to show off the Iron final Ball gambit. Music. You know, let's just lose. regardless of what it is, let's just go for final yeah. gambit. We already got our win versus like a super standard team to show like yeah, this is like a good this is a good archetype. Let's do the funny now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 100% win rate, wow, Moxie boosted. So I'm cool. crazy, dude, I'm crazy. <laughs> I've never lost, not one L. There's no L in Moxie boosted, that's a Toad School. There are two L's in that, and it's concerning. <laughs> uh, oh, but no. honestly, no, the final Gambit's free. Yeah, it looks like the final Gambit is free. Wait, is this my Toad School team? Is it? No, no, this isn't my Toad School team. Wait, it might be. Let me check. Hold on. Uh, after I select my Pokemon. All right, we're yeah. doing the final game at Funnies. Uh, we we do this. Or do we want to do we King, want to Gambit? King Gambit? Let's do yeah, King Gambit. It's King funnier. Gambit. All right, hold on. Let me check. This might be my team that I made like a showdown live with with some buddies. Hold on. Because I don't remember anything. No, it, this is nothing oh. like my team. My team just also had okay. a Toad School. Okay. Toad School is an interesting pick. Yeah, it's is actually it, completely suboptimal, but it's very funny. Yeah, it, like, it's just it's like 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 less bulky than Toad's Crew, is in, it? Yeah, or in not? every sense of the word. Um, like even with Evie Light, it's like not as bulky on the special defensive side. And it was funny because I kept getting comments who were like, "Toad's cool, that's interesting. What's the reason behind that?" And I would respond with just swag. I, I just guess had, like I responded swag to at least thirteen different comments that day. I guess that in Trick Room it's quicker than Toad School, but sorry, my dog is just whooping. One sec. No worries. Yeah, I, I guess in Trick Room it's it's faster, but the issue is that with Toad School you're kind of not going for anything other than utility moves. So. Yeah, um, I think the we picked up like one KO with like Earth Power. Really? Yeah. Oh, what? That I mean, it. Toad's Cruel doesn't have a good special attack stat, so how on earth are we KOing, KOing things with Toad's Cruel? I don't know. We got like one. Okay, um, this could be quite bad. So actually here, I'm very tempted just to Rage Fist and Terra Dark Trick Room to make sure that we don't get final gambited because we kind of have to go for the speed type. Or actually, we can protect. You can protect, yeah. Rage Fist and protect. Yeah. Because that they guarantees we don't use our Epsco. Yeah. They might try to... Oh, <laughs> they, they know. They know. Oh. Alright, tell me he final gambited. If he final gambited, they're like, we win this. Rage Fist. Yo! Also, we're oh, both wow. Choice Scarf. We're both Choice Scarf. So this could be quite bad. But we definitely Terra now. Yeah, it w th that's really weird. That's really weird. All right, we also have because we're max speed, aren't we? So, yeah, we yeah. also haven't revealed that we're choice scarf yet. So I think we're fine to. Um... Let me double check something. I'm very certain we're max speed. Oh, we max speed. <laughs> Did you forget to change the name? Yeah, one fifty six uh -huh. jolly. Yeah, so it's also just scarf. Yeah, that's fine. So we can rage fist. I, they they probably don't KO us if they rage fist our. Um, our Annihilate, and Rabscott obviously will resist after the yeah. terror, so we're pretty safe doing this. Unless it's like a Draco and a Rage Fist. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna then... Dark Pulse regardless. Yeah, they would Dark Pulse, yeah. I just want to use Final Game at Veluza really bad. Because <laughs> they never see I it know. coming. I'm hoping that they KO right. our Yeah, Annihilate. we're just speed tying. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Rage That's Fist. unfortunate that our Rage Fist went first the second turn because yeah. it oh, powered wait. them up even more. <laughs> it did nothing. It did nothing though. Yeah. Oh, th that's perfect. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's KO. really what? good actually. Dude, all we have to do is lose a speed tie now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> speed tie loss. Speed tie loss. It's fine though because they still have no damage. 
their annihilate has no damage into our Ravska, so we can like bug buzz, bug buzz and, that yeah. dragon. It's probably going to protect though. Yeah, but like it's good damage, and if they Draco our um, our annihilate, we're like just we're chilling, you know. Yeah, well they're minus two special attack, so I I. I Switch out from Hydreigon is maybe on the cards here. Nah, they know that we're Scarf. They want to stay in and just KO. Ooh. That's an interesting switch. King Gambit? Dude, what's King Gambit's HP? 120? 100. 100? Okay, so we can't do the thing that I want to do, which is just Veluza. <laughs> yeah. Well, what? we can. We can uh, Bug, Buzz, Bug Buzz and Final Gambit it. Oh, Because they might true? protect Hydreigon. Big true. Also, if High Dragon attacks, it goes down. Dude, I think we goes do that. Down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. As long as they don't sucker punch, but there's there's no chance they sucker punch this thing. Oh, there is a chance actually. I didn't think about that. No, there's no well. shot. There's no shot. They sucker punch. Oh, because Ravisa. they think that they're yeah, because we're in trick room, so they yeah. think they're faster, right? Yo, true combo. Yeah. True combo right here, because we live everything Come from Hydragon, and if it attacks into our Rabska, it just goes down on its own. And then we get in our Supreme Overlord, dude. Dude, honestly, I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. I I do actually think that this is really Veluza's niche. <laughs> this is unironically the only thing Veluza can do. Like, fillet away is such yeah. a bad move. Sam, you and I, scientists. The rest of the world, mm -hmm. apes. Monkeys. Mm -hmm. They have yeah. little tiny brains. We are the Veluza scientists. <laughs> Oh, please don't tear a ghost, I'll cry. Please don't tear a ghost, I'll cry. <laughs> oh, God. Terra water oh, God. would be so good. Flying? It's oh, flying. That's, that's gonna be close. Okay. That's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. If it's AV, uh, if, if it's AV, it might survive. I'm not sure, though, because Final Gambit will take it down, and that is the protect that we were predicting. Yeah, it's this mostly, is good. This is good. It's mostly just whether or not our bug buzz will do it. Oh! Oh, what? They were max <laughs> HP! Holy! Oh my god! They, <laughs> oh, there's no way that just worked. We could have we uh, Revival Blessings then. That would have been so, so sick if we had Revival Blessing and got Veluza straight back. That would yeah, have been so sick. honestly, I'm but cool because we... we get King Gambit in <laughs> and we just, we beat everything because we still have, now we have like, like, hypothetically, this would be like the maximum you could feasibly get with Supreme Overlord, yeah. just plus two. Uh, yeah. But well, we can feed yeah. it more. <laughs> We can potentially feed it more, but it will King be King Gambit wants more souls. <laughs> Skeledurge? Dude, there's no chance Skeledurge eats this hit. No, they've already, uh, they've already terrored, so... Yeah. Um, do you want to be really cheeky and, like, do a Revival Blessing here? Or do you think that it's just better to take the Hydreigon out? So... Uh, how many turns of Trick Room are left? Two? Honestly, we're Revival Blessing here to be safe. Yeah. And we might bring in Annihilate. Actually, yes, uh, because it's Scarf. Yeah. They've got Annihilate and if, back, if they right? switch, we can actually, like, choose Smart, you know? Like, if they want to... Alright, Skeldurge protects, that's fine. We get the Revival Blessing. We're gonna get two Revival Blessings off. And if they attack with Hydreigon, it goes down. So. Yeah. And it's minus two. And Annihilate's within Sucker Punch range now. They have no win con. They literally have no win unless con they, Unless they crit. Unless they crit. They have to double protect with their... Um, was it called? Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get Veluza in first. Okay. Because we're guaranteed to get Annihilate back, and technically, like, if something goes terribly wrong this turn, we'd rather have Veluza. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because if if that uh, Hydragon attacks, it goes down. So I'm gonna revive a blessing a second time, dude. Our whole the whole squad is back. <laughs> <laughs> the whole is squad is here. He's got the whole squad reviving. They might switch in their Annihilate pit, but honestly, that wouldn't be. Too yeah, we just bad. get Sucker Punch then. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow! What? They knew it was over. They saw, dude, they saw the Supreme Overlord and they started running. Yeah, that was wicked. That's yeah, I, I don't think this could have gone any better. No, that was so, so cool. I love that. <laughs> yeah, alright, so, uh,. When do you think uh, your your video is probably going to come out if we record tomorrow? Um, like probably mid to end of next week, but I, I don't know when. You can upload when your side whenever, and I'll upload later in the week. All right, for sure, and I'll just make sure I send people to yours, and I'll update this video with the link to your video as well. 
Uh, sure. So yeah, uh, guys, that was the Revival Blessing Rabska team. It went crazy, and honestly, like I, we found a niche for Veluza, and that's all we can ask for as 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 men of science. Um, <laughs> it's it's Oko the King Gambit. Like, yes. How many Pokemon? Can Under, do Trick that? Room. <laughs> Under Trick Room. Under Trick Room. All right, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, make sure you sub to Foo. Link in description down there. You definitely want to be sub to Foo. Phenomenal content. Uh, join the Discord to get access to the pace to this team, I guess. And yeah, uh, anything you want to say? Uh, no, just uh, thank you very much for having me on your channel. Yeah, dude, anytime. All right, have a nice one, guys. Bye.